Okay, if you've never seen sponsored content on my channel before, what you need to know is that sometimes uh, developers of games or publishers of games, or sometimes even just like viewers who really want to see me play a game, will pay me to do so. Legally, I have to tell you that that's what's happening. It's very, very, very rare for me to sign a contract which says that I'm like not allowed to give honest opinions about the game. So... Contextually, the way that I would frame this is that I am being paid so that I play this game. I'm going to spend a couple of hours checking it out, trying to work out what things are cool and unique about it with you all, and... Yeah, the only thing is, like, if I don't like something about it, I'm not going to, like, spend 30 minutes dwelling on it, right? Because I am being paid to show off things that are good about the game, not to, like, <laughs> spend 30 minutes <laughs> saying that I hate something about it. Breach Wanderers is a deck-building roguelite. So it's like a ma it's a blend of a deck builder like magic the gathering where you build a constructed deck and a roguelite and playing through it the very tiny amount that i have it looked pretty cool sort of like if you played a slay the spire run but you were able to craft your starter deck as well currently it's in early access this is the current roadmap uh i believe they have it 20 percent off for three days so if you're interested in the game, it's 20% off this weekend on Steam. It's also available on mobile. There's a, I believe, my understanding is that there's a less complete version on mobile, which is free to get, but it will show you ads while you play, unless you pay to get the ads removed. And there's a large cast of characters, which I haven't met yet, really. So we'll see. This is my collection. Quite a few cards. At the forge, I can build things. This looks like meta progression upgrades. So this is stuff that happens in between runs, basically. <laughs> Quest board is such a cool thing to put in a roguelite. You wet wookie. Can you be a sponsored viewer? You want to be paid to watch the channel? You would have to announce it, and you would have to, every two minutes, compliment someone. Just say something really nice about someone else in chat. Drop a B, thanks for the three months. If you do that, I'll gift you a sub. Do I have any packs? I can open a pack. Let's open a pack! I got Ancestral Memory, which is not quite Ancestral Recall. Runic Shield, gain 10 shield, and a mana boost 2. An increasing stab. Oh. Oh my. It's Claw. Alright, anyway. Let's start our run and we can actually check out the mechanics inside the run. Oh, it is going to show me this stuff. Maybe. No, this is the first time I've seen this, I think. Welcome to the character screen. You can view the hero list to the left of the screen. You can see your current hero and change the color of the outfit here. These are the base stats of your hero. These ones. Here are the passive skills. You don't have them all unlocked. You can view your various decks and create new ones here. Let's edit your current deck. All right. Welcome to the starting deck editor. At level three, you'll be able to edit the pool of cards that you see during a run. Interesting. You can edit the name of your deck and its icon here. You need to have at least one card in your deck to change the icon. You can use these buttons to cycle through card filters and sorting method. You can see your deck list here. As a guideline, I recommend that you try having four mana cards, four offensive cards, two block cards, and two utility cards. Sure. So what's our starter deck? Is there something that says... This is the deck. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't know what all of these numbers mean yet, though. 
You kill him better. <laughs> hey Smurf, how are you? I'm not going to mess around with that right now. We'll just go default duck. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of trading card game vibe to it there, right? But then we get in here and it's like, oh, roguelite. We are fighting a raspberry with a sword. Good luck. Is this an elite fight? The nodes are more artistically descriptive, huh? Looks like you can actually see which fights you're going to. Oh, maybe it's not a raspberry. Maybe it's a bunch of red grapes. Let's do this path. Oh my god, they're so tiny. So in this game, it looks like the tutorial isn't going to launch again, which is fine and expected, I guess. In this game, we have a mana bar, and we actually do not lose our mana between turns. So we have constant ice cream, basically. I'm starting each fight with six, with a maximum of eight, and I'm gaining two a turn. But there are a bunch of cards which interact with that. This is not a great example. Here we go. This is a better one. So mana boost. Okay, predict gains us one mana and gains mana boost one and growth two. Am I sitting in the way here? Uh, there isn't a command for it, but we could probably make one. That would probably be a good thing to do. Sort of in the way, huh? <sighs> what if I made myself very small? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm tiny. No, I can't be that small. That's uncomfortable. So if we look at predict, predict gains one mana, gains mana boost one and growth two. So mana boost is a buff and every turn we gain two extra mana. I imagine that that only goes for one turn since it's mana boost one. And growth is a buff which increases your maximum mana by one per rank and gains one extra mana every turn for every sixth rank. Max of plus four. Growth isn't reduced at end of turn. So this is our scaling throughout the fight. Clicking on this card. You don't want chat on the screen either. Oof, that's a lot. Mana shield gains two mana and gains two shield. I believe shield carries between turns. Oh no, it doesn't. But still, I believe we play this card. Scattered mod. Transform a cannon blast into a scattered blast. Gain mighty two. Oh, we'll get into that in a second. I think we can... Oh well, that hits our maximum mana already. Okay. Let's shuffle two treasures into our deck. Sure, why not? Cannon Blast. Deal 6 damage to any enemy, apply 6 arcane to it, reduce cost by 1 whenever you play a non-mana, non-cannon card. Temporary. Temporary means this card will be removed from your deck after you play or discard it. My character's passive is that I put a Cannon Blast in my hand every turn. Right? I'm pretty sure that's true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we read that earlier. What's in my bag? Cannon Blasts created every turn 1. Yeah, there you go. So we have equipment slots. Um, we can transform a cannon blast into a scattered blast. Scattered blast deals eight damage to all enemies. Oh, I should have done this first. Okay, while we're learning. What does mighty do? Increases damage on by 30%. Sounds good to me. Ah, but it keeps the discount. That's good. The way that arcane works is it applies damage and I'm pretty sure it removes buffs on enemies when it gets to 10, but we'll find out.
So these are going to be defending now and giving buffs. Weak to all units. Wits draws an extra card every turn. Apply 10 arcane to any. Here we go. Applying arcane will fill the target's arcane bar. When it's filled, the target will take 10 fixed damage and dispel 1. Reduce the rank of all buffs. Frozen and Shocked increase the damage by 5 each. So we've got debuffs that interact with other debuffs. Uh, these don't currently have blocks, so I can kill one of them pretty easily here. I feel like... Um, hmm. Oh, vulnerable. Increased damage taken and status received. And status received? Interesting. So if I applied arcane here, it would go twice. Oh, it wouldn't, because it takes more arcane to make a proc again. I have been jibolted. I have jibolted myself. So there's a decent amount of thinking in what order to play your cards every turn, for sure. I haven't felt like there are too many keywords yet. One thing is that we have a starter deck which has a lot of... It's not strikes and defends, right? Like, our starter deck actually has complex cards in it. So yeah, we're going to see a lot of the keywords right at the start in the first fight. What is Meditate doing? Adept buffs increases status applied by 30%. Gives mana boost, which we've already seen. And it gives growth, which we've also already seen. Okay. Anyway, we should probably just leave the fight. Unless I'm carrying mana between fights or something, but I don't think I am. I have some gold, some ether, some experience. So these are all meta currencies, I believe. I don't believe these are affecting the run that we're on. 21 energy. I don't know what that one is. And a card choice. Are there microtransactions in the game like buying packs with cash? Not that I've seen. So far, all of the meta currencies that I've seen you pick up by playing a run. I know that if you play on mobile, you'll be served ads unless you pay for the game without ads, but yeah. Monster card. Every enemy has a small pool of two cards. When you defeat them, you will receive one of these cards as a reward choice. Okay. So you can plan ahead somewhat. And reflect one this turn per damage dealt. Deal one fixed damage per rank one hit. Sure. That seems not that exciting though. Growth two and mana. It's gonna take a mana card. Feels like I have a decent amount of card draw on this deck. So you want more mana generation? These ones are books. These are different, huh? I wonder if it's just different art and it's the same AI or if they're actually two different enemies. Uh, there's no reason to play block gear. Sir Burke, this is Breach Wanderers. Death Spores is a buff. Apply one powerful per rank to each ally on death. Not reduced at end of turn. So when it dies, it's going to make its friend attack for more. I think I might actually sort of be okay with that. 
Just get a dud anyway. Powerful increases damage done and status applied by one per rank. Powerful isn't reduced in end of turn either. Okay. Intense below enemies weirds you out. It's interesting. Um, the problem with putting them above enemies is that enemies are different heights. Which is regularly awkward and inspiring. I don't know, I don't really mind it. As a player, it doesn't make any difference to me so far. Did I build the starter deck? It's just the default one. Okay, let's choose another card. Well, five times two damage to the first enemy and shuffle a treasure into your deck. Deal four times two damage to the first enemy and heal six. Hey, I like healing. Apply ten arcane to any enemy, gain ten shield if this triggered an arcane detonation. So that's a big block card. I think I take draining strike though. Draining strike also seems like a big block card. Do you know what treasures are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already have a card that creates treasures, that's why I didn't mess over this. So it's just a card draw card. Can I skip somehow? Oh, this is what that is. Energy. Brings you in and out of the breach, safely gathers energy to warp in items. Oh. So when I get up to a certain amount of energy, I can go to town and buy meta progression upgrades, which will affect this run, but also their meta progression upgrades, right? Well, it depends. Huh. Okay. That'll be interesting. You hear some fighting sounds in the distance. Magic plants are in a fight against a group of a very dangerous elementals. So I can choose whose side to join. This is an FTL event. Well, it's also a Breach Wanderers event. <laughs> Reminds me of an event in FTL. Uh, I don't know which it makes sense to fight. We'll do this one. You surprise all the monsters with your attack. The other group of monsters flee as soon as you start. It could have helped. That's all I'm saying. This might be an elite fight. Shock. Applying shock will fill the target's shock bar. When it's filled, the target will be shocked and take 100% 100% bonus damage from the next attack. I'm going to guess that a shock bar is 10 to fill. And this is doing a 1 by 4 and buffing in some way. It's ambushed. They're both ambushed. Okay. I have a 50% critical chance. Why? This doesn't crit. It's because it's an attack? I think it's my first attack that I've ever played. Fascinating. It hits the first enemy though. I'm not sure that's what I want. So if you can't skip... There's actually some stuff going on with um, adding cards to your deck being bad. Like, not wanting to go to fights. Yeah, I was right. Look at me. Hey, Paul. There's no actual reason to play block this turn, is there? Oh, I guess there is. Also, this is AoE. There is because it fills my shield.
Knowing how much a shock bar takes to fill is actually really good feedback to give the creators. Like I would need it to write that? Is that what you're saying? I don't really feel like it needed to be explained. Uh, I'm about to die. <laughs> it's not great. Recovery tutorial. In Breach Wanderers, you can only heal up to your recovery stat. When you're missing more health than your recovery stat, your maximum health will be... Re <laughs> For example, Raudan starts with 100 maximum health and 15 recovery. If your health drops to 80, your maximum health will be reduced to 95. Your health is precious. Apparently it is. <laughs> Resting ignores this rule, allowing you to recover your lost maximum health. Okay. So we can rest at some point, perhaps. And get our missing health back. But that doesn't mean that I, like, do heal to this at the end of the fight, right? It's just that's the most I can heal to. Oh, it isn't dead. Wait, what? Thought that was killing it. I guess it blocked or healed or something. I wasn't paying attention. Victory! I get a card remove. Okay. The monster card is Shocking Grass, which applies 10 shock to the first enemy. Then if this shock did apply 6 shock to all enemies. Here's a mana card. Gain 2 mana, gain 2 more mana if you had no mana. Sure, I'll take a mana card. I haven't fought any enemies that punish me for spamming cards yet. And the mechanic where there are cards which make you mana that are a part of your deck right at the start of a run is going to lead very quickly into you. A balance where you are spamming card draw and mana gain, I think. Unless there are enemies that punish that. Because in Slay the Spire you can't really do that because card draw and energy gain don't do anything unless you can spend the energy. But with, like, a hand of strikes and defense, you can't really spend your energy. This game doesn't have any strikes and defense. And also because if you draw only energy gain or only card draw without energy carrying between turns, the cards are just terrible. So Slay the Spire has an arc where you want cards which make a lot of output, like this, for example, and then later you want a bunch of cards like this, once you're like at a point where your deck is strong enough to start warping it toward that thing. So yeah, I don't know how the balance works exactly, but this is a thing that I'm immediately noticing as I'm trying to work out how to build my deck. What is Wits? Draws an extra card every turn. There's only Wits 1. So it just replaces itself next turn, probably. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Having weak seems okay. Maybe we'll remove this thing. It does dispel, but I can already do that. Have I tried for the warp yet? I have to get this to 100, yeah? I think. Okay. I'm 
I guess fatigue is a mechanic that I haven't talked about yet, huh? Oh, there is a legend here. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see this. I guess that's not a, like, location in the game that I look very often or something. I don't know. I just didn't notice it was there. Maybe it's because I'm streaming and my chat's on the right side of my monitor. Uh, so these are bosses. That's an elite. That's a regular combat. I'm down for an elite. There's a combat legend on the bottom right. Wait, what? Are you sure not bottom left? Wait, what? <laughs> there was another thing on the bottom right that I didn't look at either. Oh no. I can do this one, this one. Now focus gains me four. I can weaken that. Oh, that's AoE. Oh, hello. That one and that one. It's all my cards. You just don't do left, right. Fair enough. I don't blame you. You're in the year 2020 or something. Oh, maybe I could use a block card. Interesting idea. You would agree that I am a combat legend. You're too kind. Draw five. I, I did a quest. Fatigue tutorial. You have just drawn many cards in a single turn. You've been applied one rank of the fatigue debuff. Fatigue increases the cost of all non mana cards drawn for a turn. You can keep track of how many cards you've drawn this turn here. In one rank every time you draw six extra cards. Yeah, that's not going to let you go infinite. Ah. Unless it is. <laughs> it probably is, it isn't. Does this work? I guess it gives me mighty. It answers if there's anything that punishes drawing lots of cards. It like punishes it a little bit. Equip item? Choose a card. Oh, that's a lot of damage. In two mana, draw one strike if your previous card played this turn was a strike. Deal three times two damage to any enemy, reduce the cost of cannon blast by an additional two. Interesting. I'm gonna take this one. I'm going to remove something. I don't know what. Maybe this one. Wait, that gives me mighty? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Equip item! Void hood accessory. So I can get 20 energy if I skip this, or I can take it, I do 20% spell damage, arcane applied to enemies on card discarded, plus two. Okay. So every time this bar fills, I get an item, maybe? Wait. 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 When was my... When was my moment to click on this if I wanted to? <laughs> Why is it called a monster card? Because um, the fights have cards they can drop that only drop from those fights. On the This is a boss fight. The enemy will use a debuff. 
I will also use a debuff. I feel like I maybe played that turn okay. Doom. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Wait, when does it expire? Take 50 fixed damage when this effect expires. But it doesn't say when it will expire. Well, that's very exciting. Yeah, I should probably not have taken the times a five attack and then gotten rid of my card, which gave might. That was maybe not the right play. Ah, I see. The number on it is it ticking down. I think, like, immediately I thought that that meant that it was going to hit for 13, and then I was just confused why it also said that it was going to hit for 50. But yeah, that's on me. Maybe could have read what it said or something. Are we winning? Now I'm vulnerable. 19 arcane. So I'm about to lose one of my buffs. Wait, is this a buff? That's a buff. Wait. <laughs> dispel one. I think dispel reduces my buffs by one, so it's going to make this expire faster. That's sort of awkward. <laughs> I'm not sure I love that. <laughs> Just like with Blasphemy, death is not negative. I mean, what is a buff anyway? You don't have to like the game, but you also don't have to like say that you don't like the game in chat. It's just like harder to enjoy exploring a new game when people are like just saying they don't like it for no reason. <laughs> hey Dagox, how are you? Sort of enjoy the vibe on the music. Treasures draw me one to three cards at random. Wait. I guess by at random I mean between one to three cards, yeah? Draw one to three cards at random. Okay. I'm actually sort of confused about that. Does that mean... Does the at random mean that if I know the order of my deck, I'm pulling them randomly from it? Probably not. Probably not. How's the game doing appreciably differently from other deck building roguelites? We have a constructed starting deck, is a big thing. There's also something going on with this energy portal device and meta progression, which I haven't. Oh, wait, no, all this does. It doesn't actually bring you out of the breach. I was just completely wrong. <laughs> I was reading way too much into that. Anyway, there's a decent amount of meta progression going on in the game. There are eight different characters, which is a good number of characters. There are monster cards where fights will drop you cards specific to that fight, 
like this. Oh, I'm going to take that one. Doom. Transform into Morbid Overture. That's a cool card. That's such a cool card. Automatic mod. Yeah, two by five. Okay, so if I had strength scaling, this would be great, but I removed my card, which was strength scaling for no reason. I don't know, don't ask me. Upgrade a card. Let's upgrade this one. Where do I see what the upgrade is? There. Oh, that's a lot more damage. Sure. Doom has darkness vibes. I guess it does, yeah. I think I can probably remove one of my mana gain cards. Mana shield might be the worst. Charging focus is pretty bad. Gonzo, like, try to be pleasant <laughs> to interact with if you want to be in the channel. It's like, it's like your, I don't know if this is actually your intent, but it's like your messages are intentionally being unpleasant. And if I see that and feel that way, I'm going to time you out from the channel. Because I don't need that in my life. So this is two elites this way. But it's an event first, or we could do like combat, 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 combat event. We'll do the two elites this way, I think. There's a big open field in your path. There are lore blossoms almost everywhere on the ground. It looks bad, but you remember an entry about this in the standard issue of Into the Breach, Ether Survival Guide. What did it say again? On encounter a field of sleeping blue lore blossoms, you can walk through safely as long as you approach and pet the plants that wake up. Okay. This feels like a reading comprehension test so far. Follow a path of small planted flags. I mean, it seems like I should click on the middle one. If you keep losing lots of health, you also lose max HP. True. In a gutty night. You drop a bee. Anyway, it seems like this is the one that the lore entry told me to click on. It's working. You're making it through. They're not attacking. You can't help but notice a broken caravan. It's only a short distance from you, but it's not in your path forward. There's sure to be loot. You can see chests and lingering ether energy. Yep. Give me that. You keep petting the plants that wake up around you while getting the magical energy and material from the wreck. The caravan also transported specialized outfits from the ether. This was all very worth it. I have an item. Strike damage, max shield, evade ch Ooh, evade chance. I have another item. Every three damaging cards will be a critical hit. Every third damaging card will be a critical hit, I guess. Localization thing. So I haven't yet gotten something that I already have. That event felt like reading question on the SAT a little bit. I'm sure that the other options like do something else, right? I doubt it's just like one of them is clearly correct and the other ones are clearly wrong. I just didn't deal damage to it. Ooh, I'm frozen. What does this do? Oh, I just don't get a turn. Okay. Yikes. I can't mouse over that. Ooh, that would be a good thing to be able to mouse over. I 
I guess I was stacking this, though. Oh, that was my crit. Okay, whoops. Wait, when I hit this, it... Okay, here's where we read. Apply two fixed frost when hit. Reduce all status received from attacks by two. Applying frost will fill the target's frost bar. When it's filled, the target will be unable to act on their next turn. Some effects deal fixed damage or apply fixed it. Yeah. Yep, okay. All the other stuff I already knew. So sometimes it makes us skip a turn. That's fine. Rude, but allowed. Also, I believe I just removed the frost barrier, so that's good. Why did I take two frost then? Also, the frost barrier came back. So can I end the turn by filling this, maybe? Did my attack work? I wasn't looking. How did I heal? One of my cards heals. I have a bite type card. My attack worked? Okay. Good, good. This is at one, so if I do this one, then this one, then this one. Nice. Castle Raven, thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Dead Chill Bolt. Apply 10 frost to any enemy and give it 3 frost bite. Every turn, gain 3 fixed frost. And take 3 fixed damage. That looks sweet. What is overcharged? Apply two fixed shock to yourself whenever you draw a card. Uh, oh, okay, that made it worse. <laughs> um, suppressive fires another attack. Let's take this one. What is a lucky charm? Oh, reroll an item or card. Okay. <laughs> what is that? What is it though? Obviously we have a plant themed act. What's up with its like hat though? Plated. Decreased damage taken and status received by one per rank. Plated isn't reduced at end of turn. Reduce rank by one whenever you reduce an attack or status card to zero. Interesting. So if it full blocks something with plated, the plated goes away. But not with its shield. Pretty sure you have something like that in the back of your fridge. You should maybe clean your fridge out. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I have frosted it. Next action, nothing. Hey, that seems really good. I am a fan of next action, nothing. Critical 100% chance. That also seemed pretty good. Hey, it's dead. All right. This deck is vibing now. Extra supplies. I don't know what extra supplies do. So I can reroll now if I want. Gain mighty three? No. You can't just let me have mighty three. Those wits two draw extra cards. Unneeded. When you saw eight exclamation mark damage, you thought eight factorial. 
I mean, it's impossible to say if it was or wasn't. Nobody understands numbers that high. What a cutie! Do we think that's grapes or a raspberry? What are your thoughts? Deal one fixed damage per rank when hit. Alright, okay, so we don't want to hit this lots of times. But on the other hand, we do want to hit it lots of times. What is that? Summon. I am suddenly being attacked for a large amount. Uh, it feels really close to just being right to kill this. Oh, but I can only hit the first enemy. Okay, I guess that changes the math. That is a raspberry. I just evaded. Does this screen have my evade chance on it? I don't think it does. Where would I find it? Here? It's healing. No, no, no. Get out of here. This also hits the first enemy. Oh. I can stop it from healing using this, right? No, no, I can't. Feels bad. Do we think Relentless will trample through enemies if it kills first? Uh, did we just see? We might have just seen. Just didn't? Okay. So I believe we think no. This is a crit of some sort. Has one health left. And Frostbite killed it, yeah. We did not see I killed in the last attack. Well then. Unlocked depth two! What's a victory? Your maximum pool size has increased. Venturing in further depth increases the amount of areas to explore. You'll face stronger foes and earn better rewards. Charm. Sure. That was not too difficult. Just seemed like a take the things that deal damage and kill the enemies sort of difficulty. Which is expected for the first run of something like this. I wonder how high the difficulty goes. And now we actually have enough money to do some stuff here, yeah? I have 63 out of 285 cards. This is new? Oh yeah, because it was in the booster pack. How do I um unlock the characters? Ah, gold. Merle is a powerful assassin adept at striking from the shadows with her devastating critical attacks. Her cards are centered around hiding and powerful attack. This is a level 
two salam. Ooh. Ooh. I think I've made the outfit worse so far. <laughs> Wait, that's actually sort of a vibe. Yeah, sort of clashing with the blue. How about the cancel button? You can change all three colors. No microtransactions. Except for, like, the... I mean, the entire thing is small transactions, but it's of currency that you create by playing the game. It's not like... Your credit card does not get involved after you've bought it. I want to take a look at what the other things are before I buy a new character. You'll be presented an extra choice when you receive an item reward. You'll begin each run with energy. Recommend it. Begin every run with two rest supplies. You can rest? Uh, what's at the market? You'll be able to purchase up to one item from the market before every run. I wonder what that means. I think I can do that and this. Also, complete! Yay! How many of these do I... Wait. Okay, I have a different quest now. Now I have to deal damage with Arcane. And this is only for opening packs, yeah? We can open a pack then. I actually like the pack opening mechanic. <laughs> My opinion of pack opening mechanics is they have to, like it has to matter what's in the pack and it has to not take 30 seconds to open a pack. So, like my experience with some other large PvP games like this is that it takes way too long to open packs and also the cards in them don't matter anyway because you're just using wild cards or dust or whatever to get the cards that you need. But in this, in order to unlock the cards, I actually have to open packs, yeah? So, what is a crude plating? Okay. Well, this is a card that removes itself, I guess. Gain Predator 2. Increase damage done to enemies by 10% for every unique debuff type on them. Corrupt it too if it's vulnerable. Corrupt increases the rank of all debuffs. Cool. Gain 12 shield and decrease the value by 2. A temporary modification. Lasts for the fight. This is a much better block card than the other block cards that I've been seeing. Brewers. All right, let's unlock you. Oh, I don't actually have enough gold, do I? I get an extra 50% critical damage. It looks like I don't get to customize the deck on the first run. Ooh. The depths are apparently stored independently for different characters. So we're applying a Depth one run with Merly if we do Merly. Okay. All right. That's fine. I haven't seen how much the difficulty expands, but um, if a run is about that long, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if runs have more acts than that or not. But if a if an act is only nine floors, which it is, the fact that you are building your own deck to start with does actually make a pretty huge deal. Yeah, I saw the rest option as well. My cats are cuddling under my desk. 
but they are cuddling exactly where my feet need to go. <laughs> it's very awkward. Depth 2 unlocks the second act. Okay. Even still, like I think in Slay the Spire acts are like 16 floors, 15 floors. So... Although, like, there's a chest floor and then rests are separate floors. Probably ends up being a comparable number of fights. Maybe... Yeah, actually, probably very comparable. Alright, let's get this elite fight early. Oh, but there, there's no way to get more than one elite fight, huh? Do we remember anything about the cards these fights offered? Is there some reason to think that I would want one more than others? Also, what's my duck? Gain four times two shield. So that pretty clearly implies that shield can have scaling, huh? It is critical. Okay. 16 floors, but only like six fights. Uh, it depends on if you go to hallway fights or not. I guess I'll like, let's try doing events just to see what the events are like. Because I feel like we know that the... Yeah. Or at least I feel like I know... Oh my god, that's... Okay. Um... What does Hidden do? 50% crit chance and 50% evasion chance. Hidden is only lost when using a damaging card. I don't feel like I've ever played a deck builder where I didn't know if I was going to crit or not as I played a card. I don't remember if I've played one like it with a crit mechanic like this. You have... I don't know if I like it or not because I have never played anything like that before, really. Oh, I was meant to be hidden first, I guess. I actually thought I would still be hidden. Oh, hidden doesn't stack. Wait, 23? Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. Wait, why? Can we work this out? In 50% crit chance and evasion chance. Off your attacks have 50% chance of dealing critical damage, critical hits deal 150% damage by default. So it's starting at 6 because I... I don't know why it's starting at 6 instead of 5, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. And then uh, it deals 100% bonus damage if hidden, which I am. So that should make it deal... Wait, what? <laughs> Shouldn't it say deal 12 then? Oh, vulnerable. I made it vulnerable, okay. And one reflect. Wait, is it counting the reflect as damage that this card deals? Because that would be really weird. <laughs> hey, TQ. Monster card. I have to apply arcane for my quest. Sort of fascinating. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take a mind to seed, I think. Alright, what do events stand? The path through the forest unfortunately got swampy and it is becoming annoyingly difficult to traverse. We investigate. Observing creatures in the distance, you find a solution. They seem to be staying on paths of fallen mushroom trees. Okay, let's go on the red one. Blue one? But red one. This is a conditional option. It is visible because your deck contains enough of the required cards. You are playing a certain character or any other condition indicated. These options are often better than the usual alternatives. Okay. Walking top of mushroom caps is hazardous. You often need to climb slippery tree trunks and balance yourself on wobbly mushroom caps. Eventually you manage to progress past the swamp and are able to continue your normal path. None of the other creatures using the paths approached you. The area filled your artifact significantly. Okay, we got a bunch of energy, which is going to give us a relic at the end of this fight, probably. Quests are how they get you to build suboptimal decks. Yes. Something like that. That sounds probably true. Six double to 12, 100% crit chance double again to 24, one reflect brings it down to 23. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. One hundred percent crit chance. But critting doesn't make my shield more. Okay, so we learned a couple of things there. One confirmed that if we deal ten times two to something with ten, it doesn't deal ten to the one behind. Also found out that if we only hit once with the damage, we still get twice with the block. Which makes sense. I can't play this right now. Oh. I may have messed up a little bit. Crit is 150% damage, not double. Look. Who knows? <laughs> I certainly don't. Crit is doubled on this character. Oh yeah, that was like my passive thing. Yay! I vaguely remember that though. It's just a lot to like... learn all of the character's mechanics as you pick it up for the first time. This is just a thing that is sort of always true. Gain powerful 3 this turn. Increased damage done and status applied by 1 per rank. Powerful isn't reduced at end of turn. But presumably this one is. Because it says this turn, right? Ooh, I like Cleansing Shield. Gain lethal 2 if you're a hit on. Increase crit damage by 50%. That also seems really good. I'm going to take this one, actually. What is this down? Scroll of Recall. If you have no mana, draw two and you gain four mana. It has an active. So I have to click that, I guess? In fights or something? E Vibrator. I think it's 11 months. With a bit of luck, you spot a small hidden cache of supplies near your path. While you inspect what you found, a group of assorted plant creatures advances towards you. If this was an ambush, they are not too good at it. They ha you have time to prepare for the fight. Because I am Merly, I can attack while they are disorganized. Sure. I found an active trinket. Simply drag the card onto the screen to use it. Active trinkets provide you with a card that can be used for free once per fight. Okay. So the first time that I have no mana, I can use this. Wait, I can't get no mana now. <laughs> How could this happen to me? <laughs> Ooh, double crit. What's 
6 plus 200 percent is 18, and then 30 percent of 18 is 23. Okay. That math works, I think. Hey, Daniels. Certainly sounds like math to me. I have gained a lethal two. Increasing my crit damage. I can do this now. That was pretty sweet. Oh my. Oh my. I'm about to become fatigued. I am now a Merly main. I now play exclusively Merly. The game is in early access, yeah, they have a red map. Which the game is at step two of five on. The game is also on sale this weekend. You can pick it up on Steam if you would like. I don't have a link for you though. Choose card. Give poison four to all enemies. Increase this value by three. Increase this value by three for the rest of the fight, presumably. Increase your recoverable health and heal by eight. Transform into mend. We got some healing there. We've got an AoE thing. This probably just kills everything. Did I make it crit and I... I don't think this character does poison. That doesn't seem right. I think we just do this. Yes, and you can play the game for free on mobile, but it has ads. And I was told that the game was somehow less complete on mobile, but I don't know what that means. I haven't tried it. It's just what I was told. The, the Steam version is like having more features or something. I don't know. I, I actually don't know, so I'm not going to pretend that I know. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it to... Spend two energy to deal a bit of damage there. I'm not sure. It's slower on mobile, not less complete. It has slower progress. Huh. Hey, natures. How are you? Could have assumed the plus three was a permanent addition. That would definitely be different. I have not drawn my deck in the right order. I've gotten good enough at the game to be able to tell when I'm getting unlucky, so I can complain about it. Which is pretty good. You don't have enough mana, what? Where'd it all go? Chilling before the tournament today. There's some sort of like EFT thing happening, yeah? All right, we eventually did something. Oh, this is the one that applies Doom.
so far I haven't had much reason to care about Doom. Also, Hidden seems so strong. Wait, why are these only 50% crit chance? Also, why did I just crit every time anyway? I feel like you could do so much better in this game if you, like, read everything. <laughs> I have been trying to read. It's because I didn't have this, presumably. Yeah, that that's what gives me more crit chance. That and Hidden. This is also 50%. Yeah, okay. So those two together give 100%. For multi-strikes, it seems like it checks crits for each individually. Interesting. Active Trinket. Give Frail 2 and Bleed 2 to any enemy. Reduce healing received, lifesteal, and shield gained by next card by 50%. Take one fixed damage per rank every time the player plays a non-mana card. Oh. Okay. Choose a card. Oh, I'm just going to take mana font every time it's offered, I think. Wait, Ether Storm? Wait. Wait, Ether Storm? Arcane Silence is good for my quest. So, what is this upgrade to? Eh. Am I just upgrade mana font? Unless... The upgrades are significant in this game. We ought... It's going well. Let's get rid of a mana shield, maybe. Do I need those? I just got one of these. I have a trinket that gives me a bunch of mana, too. I think this is my worst mana creation. I think I can remove one of my mana cards. Alright, these paths are pretty equivalent, I think. Although I don't think I've seen this fight yet, so let's do this one. Oh no, I've seen these before. Never mind. Hmm. Oh, I should have used this. No! I'll use it next turn. It's fine. It's fine. Is it fine? Maybe it isn't fine. I don't really want to use this this turn because it will make me fatigued, which is going to make the cards that I draw with it more expensive, yeah? In one rank every time you draw six extra cards, increases the cost of all non-mana cards drawn by one per rank. The first one I drew didn't cost more, although I can't play it anyway. And that's sort of the time eater thing in this game. It's just always there. Is that all we can make it do? Surely I can make it do more than that. Anyway, let's uh, put this here or something. Evade does seem really strong, yeah.
Ah, we need lethal first. And then... We hide. There it is. Seemed strong, yeah. It wasn't not strong. There are currently three difficulties, which all add an extra area. Okay. One bleed to the first enemy and deal. Oh. So bleed we like. Bleed deals a lot of damage. I'm also open to the idea of being able to cleanse, but we'll just... I mean, how bad can Devos be? The Ascension also adds more acts. It's called Depth. So yeah, I guess so. I don't know if Ascension is the right thing to be calling it. It seems like it does somewhat of a different thing. What do you have? You have Plated. Rude. And you're hitting me for a billion? Also rude. I bet I should have used this. <sighs> Probably. Hey, bubble tea! Yeah, I'm doing alright. This it has mighty hits me for more. I want to become a hidden, but it seems difficult. Oh, this hides me. Never mind. Do this one, this one, this one, this one. I forgot to use this again. Honestly, thought I already had. Let's just use it now. Oh, it's dead. Okay. <laughs> That's probably that's probably the optimal time of the fight to use that, right? I imagine so. Um, gain mighty three and tough three and heal. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's remove our worst attack, which is like a backstab, maybe. I don't actually know that it is. Like killing heart with a letter opener proc. It's like killing heart with the first proc of a thousand cuts. <laughs> you hear some fighting sounds in the distance, magic plants. Oh, we already did this one. Let's try ambushing the plants this time. What? Wait, what? You get a lucky attack as soon as you st Oh. Okay. So that does a different thing. It appears. The boss fight, yeah? This is the last fight of the act? How do I see the map? I can't because it's the last fight of the act, I think. This boss fight doesn't have a boss. Maybe it's like a backwards slime boss. There's a bunch of enemies with death spores, though. <laughs> What's He-Man? A miserable pile of secrets. This game understands that Gremlin Gang is the real boss. Yeah, maybe it does. Oh, those do not gain me mana. That one does. I should have done this first.
poo? This character, though? Am I right? Am I right? Oh my god. This isn't e <laughs> I just one-shot the boss with, like, the starter deck. I mean, it's not actually the starter deck, but... I did take damage. But I can heal it. There, I healed it. All right. I guess I had like a relic that dealt most of the damage, honestly. Oh! I was not expecting the fancy sound. Wait. Can I start with that? That is better than the other cards that I have. Like a lot better. Hidden Storm deals damage to all enemies more if I'm hidden. So three damage to the first enemy and gain hidden. Okay. You love a level up jingle? What's not to love ya? Okay, so I'm going to play as the rogue. Let's upgrade this. Get a card reward when you begin the run. Does that make me worse? That might make me worse. Because I can't skip it, right? I'm not going to buy that right now. Um, let's take... Wait, are there more of these than there used to be? No, I think I just didn't scroll before. Let's do this. Let's open a pack! Lightning Blade. Gain Shock Rune. Oh, I've seen this before. Wait, I have seen this before, right? So you can be offered cards that you don't have in your collection yet during runs. Okay. Flex loses your health in this game. <laughs> Seems worse. Is there any apparent benefit to opening duplicates? I don't think I ever have opened duplicates, which makes me wonder if you even can. Like, you might just not be able to. Depth 2. Let's... Sort by rarity? Where are my rare ones? But you can have upgraded cards? Oh, you're just showing upgrades? Okay. Mr. Rubix for gifting us up to Breach Wanderers. Breach Wanderers says you cannot open duplicates. So that means that it will only ever take you a certain amount of time to unlock all the cards, which is nice. I imagine it would be pretty frustrating to have one card left to open and just not be able to find it. Where's that card? that I opened. Like, am I wrong? I opened it, right? Maybe I'm not allowed to add it to my starter deck? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, <gasps> card packs. Ooh, that's expensive. And some cards we locked to different characters. Yeah, I imagine so, but it did give me hidden. So, I don't know how it could be not on this character, which is the hidden character. Do I want you to explain? I would appreciate it, yeah. Because I want to edit my deck, but I don't understand which cards 
are in my pool to edit it with. You can only add common cards to your starter deck. Hmm. Okay, so why am I opening the rare cards in the packs? Because can't I see the rare cards in the run even if I don't have them in my collection? Is there something else that I'm getting out of having them in my collection that I haven't worked out yet? At level 3, you can edit your card pool, and card pool can use rare and epic cards. Okay, so I'm just not there yet. I gotcha. Thank you for the explanation. Mm. Ooh, there's two enemies. I am super down to just hit stuff really hard. That's what I did last time and it worked okay. I think given that my deck's actually pretty solid, I don't know. Is there anything in my deck that seems obviously wrong? Maybe focus is better than mana shield. Doesn't really feel like haunted memory is necessary. Hone, on the other hand, sort of felt like my best card. Hmm. I like the idea of playing Increasing Stab, but it is a temporary modification. So I don't think it actually does anything. I mean, it does something, but not the thing that I need. You can build decks, yes! Yeah, you can build your starter deck. Okay, I think I edited that in some way, yeah? Choo! I meant to get a thing at the start of the run or something, right? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Apparently I'm incorrect. Thought I was. Oh, do I click here? No. I thought I unlocked something in the market that let me do that. But I'm not seeing it. I didn't buy that option. Hmm. Oh, I bought the thing that gives me two options when I get items. That's what I bought. Just misremembering. Okay. For some reason I was thinking that I bought something that would give me um, an item at the start of runs, but I definitely didn't do that. I'm just misremembering. Did I just click every card? I might have. Definitely possible. Victory! How much extra evade is hidden? I don't remember. Wait, these give lacerating strike? Wait. I also want tempest strike, but I think I want this one more. Wait, wasn't it at 50 before? I swear I was at 50 before.
probably just misremembering again. Or maybe it was remembering from last run or something, I don't know. I would like this to die before I play this. This is maybe a little ambitious. All right, I'll just do it this way. Focus seems really good. Focus is the mana gain card that gives me four instead of two if I have none. Uh, this is a broken hand, by which I mean my hand doesn't work. <laughs> Not that it's strong. I think that's the first time I've seen a truly broken hand on this character. Victory! Give vulnerable to the first two enemies and deal eight damage to them. And get some healing regeneration. Summon one allied angry spirit. What is an angry spirit? I don't know. And why would I not be able to? I don't know that either. I kept the thing that applies vulnerable. Right, I didn't take it out. I was thinking about taking this out, but I didn't. Because I figured I could get a better one to do it. <laughs> it explained why in the hover text. Extra summoned allies use the same space as enemies and can be overridden by enemy summons. Summoned allies have a reserved combat space. Okay. I like powerful, but seems like it will take a little while. I'll just take regeneration. Having one defensive card is probably okay somehow. This looks like a pod racer to me. It still sort of looks like a pod racer. I don't think I've fought this before. This is another terrible hand. Yikes. Wait, it died? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, what? Good grief. All games should have pod racing. I think pod racing was absolutely the best thing to come out of the Star Wars prequels. Not pod racing as a concept, pod racing specifically that one video game. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you're missing out. I think that might have been the best single player racing game that I ever played. Wait, I'm bleeding? Oh, that's not good. That's not what I want. Oh, yeah. Gain two mana, draw one strike if your previous card played this turn was a strike. That seems good. Relentless Assault may be okay to you, but I want to see if we can make that work. Mm, I 
guess I want these elites. We're going to go right. Also, I didn't fill this. Hmm. I was expecting to have that filled. Hey, Sim, how are you? Good to see you. I am getting frosted. Frostened. Also, my hand is bad again. Maybe I just had really good hands the first time I played this character. Doesn't feel like I was getting that lucky, though. Feels more like I'm getting unlucky this time around. That's a strike, that's a strike. So we're gonna go... That one. And then the last card I played was a strike. I forgot to hide before I did that. Whoops. Um... You're dead. You're just dead. I guess we hide before this attacks us. Oh, I unhid. When I played the attack, I lost my hide. Duh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> right. The scroll trinket was really good. Oh, that's true. I had some pretty good trinkets. Starting... Okay, hold on. What does that mean? That means debuffs on me go down by an extra two every turn, I think. It might mean that buffs on me go down by an extra two every turn as well. We'll just take an extra four cards drawn, I guess. Maybe I should have re-rolled, actually. It might also mean Doom. Um, Doom is a buff. But also, yes, it might, I guess. That's probably a status, right? Yeah, you're probably right. I'm just not going to play this. Statuses are Frost, Arcane, and Shock the three bars. Oh! Oh. 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 Gotcha. What? I guess I just do this now, probably. Frenzy. Gain an addition. What? But. 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 Okay, still alive. That was a surprising thing to read. I am weak. Increasing my damage dealt. With fatigue existing, it's probably just about impossible to infinite in this game. Well... That probably slightly depends. Did you want your infinite to continue forever or not? <laughs> maybe, maybe the more useful answer is yes. Presumably you can reset fatigue with frost. Yeah, that's true actually, I think. At least based on what I've seen so far, I think that's true. Am I hidden? I am. 
Am I... I am already that. But now I'm not hidden. Oh, I'm like getting attacked and stuff. Let's do this. No! Ow. I have a healing card. Hey, I drew it. Okay. Actually, I'm sort of full health. Sort of a little bit full health. Ooh, these look like rares. Discard your hand, lose all mana, gain frenzy one, transform into mental respite. That's a time walk. Um, hello? Wait. <laughs> Is my max HP lower? Yeah, if you take damage in fights, your ability to heal outside of rest sites goes down. If you go significantly below your max HP, you can only get to a lower amount with in-fight healing afterwards. Although actually my healing card has a thing on it that um, increases my recoverable health. So I think this one's already undoing that a bit. Uh, yeah, so that seems like it's a time walk, right? Which probably means I should take it. The part where I discard my hand and lose all of my mana is awkward, but I don't imagine I was going to have mana after I played a six mana card anyway. Oh, wait. can I upgrade it? Does it give me... Two extra turns? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Feels like regeneration is not good. Especially now that this heals me. Hey, Click Beetle, how are you? Presumably this just kills it. Um, it's still alive. Hello. Seems sort of unfair. Oh, I should have done this first, probably. Shadow focus. Now it's very dead. Is this Slay the Griflin's train? It is a rogue light. It is also a deck builder though. There's some deck building that goes into the start of the run where you can unlock cards by playing and then put together decks at the start of each run. And it's like a thing. Because as you level up characters, you get the ability to add rare cards to your pool. I haven't done this yet. <laughs> so if it sounds like my explanation is not quite full, it's because I haven't done it yet. But I think there's a decent amount of thinking involved in building the right deck. Unless you're going to, like, look it up online, but, like, don't. You know? Just don't. Simply don't. 
Burn tick damage. I don't have any burn application. Mana transferred into four fixed shield at end of turn plus two. I understand almost all of those words. <laughs> I I feel really comfortable with mana transferred into and the number four. And at end of turn, I'm pretty confident confident about. Into four fixed shield. Well we'll find out what it does, I guess. There is only one way to discover. I don't need this, do I? Maybe I should have looked at what card I was taking first. I'll take focus again. Let's reroll, actually. Draining strike's pretty sweet. All right. Is that what happens if you go over the mana cap? Maybe. If I look at it now, where's my... here. Yeah, that doesn't explain more. Well, I mean, we'll find out when we see what happens. Plus four, plus two. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? Anything could happen. Imagine not simply taking another turn. I am sort of not having... Wait, what? I have to press one turn. I have four less starting mana than I did before. Which presumably could be a thing. One attack? Never an attack? Oh. At end of turn, up to two mana is transferred to four shield. I pressed end turn. Did we see mana do something? Does it only happen if I have over max mana? Probably, yeah. That's probably why I'm not seeing it do much. We saw that happened. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, maybe next time I'll pay attention, and then I will see it too. <laughs> but also possibly not. Any crits? Oof. Makenthunja. Thanks for 13 months. Hope you're doing well. I have a new lucky charm. Uh, no. This is more ways to be hidden. I don't know if it's exactly what I needed, but I'll take it. One to four times two. What? It spent two mana to give eight shield. Oh. Wait, that sounds awesome. That's like quite a lot of shield, actually. Shadow focus now. We hone. We backstab. And then we arms race. And then we can smoke bomb again. That's... okay. Okay, these are big numbers. Let's do that. I don't know if it's worth it, actually. 
Probably not. Probably not worth it to pay two to make those. There's definitely stuff going on with wanting to remain hidden between turns that I'm just sort of ignoring the existence of. Because I don't want to have to think that hard or something. Eat poison? No poison, thank you. Hmm. Uh oh. I don't have any attacks. Yeah, I don't have any attacks. I still. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Any attacks in my deck? There you go. Feels like that should be lethal somehow. Definitely isn't, though. This card is not good, unfortunately. I shouldn't have played that. I don't think I should upload that. You're scared of Gremlin up with all these skill cards? We'll be okay. Or we won't. Victory! I think Mind Seed is probably very helpful here. Feels like I need a bit more of everything, which is a strange feeling to have. Okay, we've fought this one before. It has a reflect. You love the little berry. See, I thought this was a raspberry, but then there are green ones, and so now I think it's a bunch of grapes. But I don't know. I believe like, like there's at least one person in chat who knows the answer, but I feel like maybe this is something that we can leave up to people's interpretation. I don't know. Yeah, there are a lot of games like this, and there are not um, not infinite mechanics for a game like this, for sure. Did you know that it's turn one? That's sort of something, isn't it? Alright. Using my energy for shield was so bad there. Hmm. Just in general, this is not good. There are many, many, many games that have some sort of you get less if you play tons of cards mechanic.
Like, if you want to stop the player... F oh, I shouldn't... Keep stealing my... <laughs> my mana. Sort of need that. Wait, I am hidden. Wait, am I? Yes. Oh, whoops. Applied that. Not convinced that relic is good for me. Also, not convinced that the relic is good for me. It's okay though, we're learning. Ow. Oh, I'm bleeding. It's a little bit awkward. Why is it feeling... Oh, no. I may actually be dead. Why is it feeling like I'm struggling so much to... kill stuff now? Or before, like at this. Probably because I'm playing wrong. That feels like the sensible answer. <laughs> you like the slark. Hope you had a good evening. Maybe it's because I have um, terrible cards on my deck. That's probably the answer, isn't it? Yeah. And also this thing that's taking two of my energy every turn. I worked it out. Okay, way to go me. Definitely forcing a card pick every floor changes the game a bit. I'm still proud of myself. If you're not going to be proud of yourself, who is? Your mother? Sure. I guess that's true. Or at least it might be true, I don't know. Who could say? We shadow focus. We backstab. We arms race. We backstab. Oh, I wasn't hidden. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, maybe I don't have enough attacks. Definitely possible. Victory! I have defeated the boss. I got extra supplies and upgrade a new item. More crit chance. It's interesting. Um, it's interesting because I regularly get a hundred percent, so it doesn't do anything sometimes. But I think I still take it. Probably. 
Choose a card. Cleanse yourself and apply 10 arcane to everything. Corrupt 2 on any enemy and deal 10 damage to it. Deal 12 damage to the first enemy. This attack has 100% bonus crit damage. There's the card, probably. Probably want that one. Uh, oh, I didn't get the mana thing, also. The one that gives me two mana and draws cards. That's probably another reason why this doesn't feel as good. Draw two strikes? That's something. Can you double crit with more than 100%? I do not know. Maybe. This card is just... I'm never playing that, ever. So... Continue! Let's see what Act 2 looks like. This is what Act 2 looks like. Alright. I have to go, because I have people coming over. So... I cannot simply stream this game all day. This has been a good stream, though. So this is Breach Wanderers. You can find it on Steam. It is on sale this weekend. 20% off. And the general vibe is we're playing a roguelike. We're building our deck as we go along. But on top of that, we're starting each run with the ability to build a deck. Can I show this? I will have to abandon. I don't want to abandon. Um, we're able to build our deck at the start of each run. Eight characters to pick from, 230 some cards. Currently in early access, you can see the roadmap here. Spring 2022, summer 2022, fall 2022. So I guess the goal is to release fall 2022 or winter 2022 or something. New hero, Sharu. Weather effects. That's cool. Do I have a promo link? No, I do not have a... Like, the sale is just on the Steam store. You don't need anything from me. And I don't need anything from you. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed... We did some Vampire Survivors and some Spire and this today. Been a comfy stream. I'm going to wind it down. <laughs> Looks up the weather at my location. It's just always raining. Feels like it would be unfair. Alright. <laughs>